It's time for another pop date with Mumbles and Mr. Dancer. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mumbles and Dancer Pop Date. Today's episode of Mumbles and Dancer Pop Dates, we're talking about travel tips for your dog. So if you're traveling with your dog, stay tuned, because we got some good ones for you today. So guys, our first tip today is make sure to get your dog to the vet so that they're up to date on all medications and vaccines. Guys, it is also at this time, if you're flying, or even if you're traveling in the car, you may want to speak to your vet about tranquilizers because it is something that can help make the trip a little bit easier for your dog in some cases. So please do be aware of that. Now guys, my second tip for you guys today is identification. You need to make sure that your dog has identification on them at all times, whether they're in a crate or whatever it is that they're in, you want to have a label on that. And you also want to make sure that they are wearing their collar and their identification tags so that everyone is aware in case, you know, worst case scenario, something happens with your dog. Now, another thing that you're going to want to have that you need to be thinking about is a photo of your dog. Now, it needs to be a recent photo. So just in case, let's say their collar slips off or something, you can say, yes, look, this is my dog. Here he is. Look at him. He's beautiful. Blah, blah, blah. Give me my dog. It's that simple. And my third tip for you guys today is make sure your dog has a place to stay. So obviously, if you're traveling by air, you're going to want to make sure they have a nice crate that fits the airline's guidelines. Uh, but if they're traveling in a car, you're also going to want to make sure that either they have a crate or in lieu of a crate, if your dog is one that actually likes driving in the car, not driving, but riding in the car, then you're going to want to make sure they have a seat belt that keeps them fully safe while they're in the vehicle. Common sense, if you're in an accident, you don't want your dog to go flying through the windshield. So make sure to take care of that. Now guys, our, my fourth tip for you guys today is make sure your dog has food and water. Guys, you know, it, this is a simple one. If you're traveling by car, plane, whatever, you're gonna win, make sure that they have all the essentials that they need. Now, obviously if you're going on a plane, and you're going someplace, you may not need as much or anything like that, but especially if you're in a car, food and water. Your dog needs food and water just as much as you do. My fifth tip for you guys today is if you are driving in your car with your dog for any length of distance, Make sure to stop and take breaks. Just like you have to use the bathroom, they at times have to use the bathroom. Just like you like to stretch your legs, they like to stretch their legs. It is that simple. Also, you know, sometimes they gotta have that bathroom break. So be aware of that. My sixth tip for you guys today is bring toys and games for your dog. Just like you get bored, your dog will get bored while in the car. So it is better to have some type of toy or game that they can play. Maybe even when you go to stop, maybe you can play a little fetch with them. It will help stimulate the brain and make them less antsy on the trip. My seventh and final tip is make sure that wherever you're going is dog friendly. Now, what do I mean by this? If you're going to a hotel, whether you're driving or flying, and the hotel doesn't allow dogs, you're gonna be scrambling to find a place for your dog. So make sure that wherever you're going is dog friendly and that they are allowed to be there. Guys, these are my seven tips. I hope that they help you guys. I know they may be seem a little simple, but it's things you need to be thinking about and sometimes things that we just plain forget, especially when we've been cooped up in our houses for so long. So please take these tips, use them, do the best you can with them. Now guys, I'm gonna go get the answer so we can finish up this video. So guys, now it's time for our favorite section, our pop in play, where you get to see this cute little guy have all sorts of fun. And here it is. Anyways, guys, this has been another episode of Mumbles and Dancer Pup Dates. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Please smack that subscribe button, smack the like button, and smack all those button, button, button. Dancer wants to wish all of you guys a safe and loving day. And I want to just say thank you so much for watching. This is going to be Mumbles and Dancer signing off. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye, Mr. Dancer. Say bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Take care.